Hey, welcome guys. Yeah, so today uh let's proving a very uh difficult theorem in uh or interesting theorem in uh, uh mathematical and analysis. Yeah, so uh this is called the uh, uh R zeta ask a colleague theorem. Okay, so uh hope you guys already see my uh uni I know basic universe conver uh, universe uh, uniform convergence and uh, I will post the link above uh, below if you uh, haven't seen my previous video okay so today uh, we will spend uh, lots of time proving this theorem and uh, try to fulfill all the details okay so let me just write down the key okay so uh, there are some key ingredient okay so key enduring uh key ingredient first one is uh, universe uh uniformly bounded and then the second uh, is a uh, so-called equicontinuous. And then the third is a compact. Okay. So basically the R zeta ask the Goldie's theorem. Let me just write down the uh, generalize the full version. Okay, so for full version is that if K is compact, compact matrix space. And then you can define LK, right? LK is all the continuous function. Let me just write down all the continuous function. Uh, let's say from K to the complex number. Uh, yeah, complex number. And uh, F is continuous and uh, bounded. Okay. And then you take, uh, basically you take all some sequence of this in this space. And uh, your f and and you assume that your f n is point wise bounded and equally continuous. So uh, point wise, uh, point wise bounded and the equally continuous. Then there is this converge subsequence. So I should say the uniformly converges subsequence f and k. Okay, so this is the full theorem, and we will illustrate step by step and what 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 this means. I mean, yeah, but basically, uh, hope you guys already see my previous uniform convergence i uh, con uh uniform convergence idea, so that you know what's uniform convergence, and then you know some basic theorem that I already proved. Okay, so let's start. Let's start to prove uh some lemma. Okay, so before I uh doing some lemma, I need to talk about some definition. So let's quickly talk about what is the universe uh, point-wise bounded because we will use it. So point-wise bounded, uh, point-wise bound, uh, as I say, if I say Fn is point-wise bounded, uh, means that, uh, uh, let me see. Uh, there is, so let's say if uh, if Fn is point-wise bounded on E, means that uh, there exists a uh, phi of x, of such that f of x finite such that uh, f n of x less than phi of x. Okay, so this is called the uh, point-wise bounded, and uh, we say that uh, this is this sequence is a uh, universe uni uniformly bounded if there is this m greater than zero such that uh, f of x n of x less than m for x. And this is so basically the, so this. Uh, uh, this means that this uh, is bounded by some function, right? For all n and x. For, for this one, this guy is a constant such that for all n, for all x. Okay, so everything is bounded uh, by some particular m. This is called uniformly bounded. Okay, so uh, one example just want to tell you that uh, uh, even though, uh, let's say, even though uh, your fn is a uh, fn is a uh, uniform, uh, fn is uniformly bounded. And uh, continuous need so it may not may not have convergence subsequence. Okay, so key idea in uh, in this problem, what Azela asked Cody is that uh, you want uh people spend a lot of time. I guess people spend a lot of time try to find the uh, the enough enough uh, conditions such that uh, you can find a uniform convergence subsequence. Or basically, uh, basically, even though the subsequence, 
And I will tell you an example such that uh, even though you have uniformly bounded and every effort is continuous, uh, this cannot given this cannot uh, give you a converse subsequence. Okay, so even though you add, let's say uh, your domain is compact, okay, let's say zero to two pi. Okay, so this example is famous that you, you define f of n of x to be sine n x, and uh, yeah, your x only your x only pick up zero to two pi. And obviously that, uh, and then uh, and uh, you can you prove you you assume that there it is a convergence subsequence such that uh, this is called sine n k x. So uh, you must have this. Suppose there exists the some uh, converge one, so you have this, right? So this guy zero. Okay, so uh, what you get is this guy zero. So this is assumption that uh, you you have some uh, converge subsequence. Okay, and then you can easily see that zero to two pi uh, sine n k x minus sine n k plus one x square limit k goes to infinity is zero. Okay, this is by uh, yeah, this is by the the back theorem, and I I haven't proved it, but uh, you can uh, easily check, and uh, but uh, you can easily do your uh fundamental calculus, right? Your easy uh, undergraduate calculus, and uh, square it, and you will find the uh, cross term is also going on, right? So this guy's actually two pi. Okay, so zero is not the same as two pi. So which tell you that there's no converge subsequence for for this function. Okay. So what is the missing part? What is the missing part? The missing part is that this equally continuous, equally continuous. Okay. So let's quickly give a definition. So definition of family f of a complex function f. So suppose you have f, uh, which f is a family of functions. Is a family of function on set E which is a subset 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 of the metric space x is said to e, is said to be et continuous uh basically it means that if uh, for epsilon greater than 0 uh there exists a delta greater than 0 such that uh, when uh 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 such that uh uh, whenever so whenever you have the x y less than delta so if you have any point which less than delta which x y belongs to e then you must have a uh, f of x minus f of y less than epsilon right but for all f belongs to f okay so the key idea is that so equally continuous means, means that every function f can use the same delta <laughs> okay so this is the, the key point okay so this is the equally continuous Okay, so now we already have everything because we already introduced a uh, uniform bounded equally continuous. Okay, so let's start the proof. Yeah, but uh, before we prove, uh, we should have, we need to have three lemmas. Okay, so lemma one. Uh, yeah, this lemma one, uh, I will give quickly prove it. So let's say your f n is point wisely bounded. Suppose your f n is point wisely bounded. Oh, and every function I talk about here is a complex, complex value. And uh, let's say uh, on a countable set E. So basically your set is now is only countable and F and is point wise the uh, point wise about it. Then there exists the converge, uh, there exists the converge subsequence. So there is this uh, converge, let's say uh, F and K, uh, which converge, which converge for all x, it belongs to e. Okay, so this is a simple, uh, simple results that uh, if you restrict your problem in a countable e, then basically you can find converse subsequence. Okay, so proof. Uh, yeah, this proof is not difficult. Uh, let's say, uh, let's say you choose x one, where you fix x one, and you can compute f one x one, and uh, f two x one, x three f x one, right? And then this is the bounded sequence, so you can use the bosonal wire trust. And then you will find a particular, let's say, you will find some, let's say some FNK, such that this FNX1 converge. Right, so you will find, find some, let's say FN, let's say FN11, FN12, FN13, 
and Fn14 such that uh, this, uh, this Fn1, uh, one, let's say Fn1k, x1 converge as k goes to infinity. And you can pick up another points, which is x2, right? You pick up x2, but uh, then you then you plug Fn11 x2, Fn12 x2, and Fn13 x2. And then this guy also bounded, right? So you can keep selecting, keep selecting some converse sequence, subsequence. Okay, so base and uh, so basically you can construct uh, like the of the uh, the some function which looks like this. So this S one, this F one one, F one two, F one three are basically a function that you pick such that all these function plug X one will converge, and you pick up X two, which is a subset of the previous F one one. You get F two one, F two two, F two three, and all these F two are some some. So each F22 is some function of, uh, will be some function in S1. And this F22 pick up X2, uh, all these X2 will converge. And then you can pick up F3, S4, and this is countable, right? So you can do this. And then finally, you just choose all the diagonal. Okay, and then your problem is that you can easily show that uh, Fnn, X1, Xk converge. Uh, for all K, Sn goes to infinity. Okay, so this is the lemma one. That means that the point-wise bounded uh, on a convert on a countable set E has the convert subsequence. Okay, let's say lemma two. Okay, so this lemma two says that if K is a metric space, so if K is a compact metric space, uh, don't worry, this theorem is, is a little bit uh, difficult, so we need to prove. Uh, uh, spend some time. And you take Fn, which is a point-wise uh, bounded function and continuous in some com in that compact set and continuous in the compact set. And uh, and if, so if Fn is, so the third condition is that Fn is a convert uniformly on K. Then Fn is equally continuous. Okay. Uh, yeah, maybe this theorem is not, this. Maybe this is not this lemma is not so important. Yeah, but let's quickly prove. So basically, you have if you have these three conditions, then you can prove equally continuous. Okay, so this is simple, right? So let's take for epsilon greater than zero, and uh, since I know that this converge uniformly, right? So that means I can find n uh, such that uh, when uh, n greater than n, I get my f of n of f n minus f n. They're known, right? Known is the soup of any po points belongs to K less than epsilon, right? For any n greater than n, okay? And then the things is continuous, right? So it's continuous, each reference is continuous. So there exists a delta greater than zero, such that F i x minus F i y less than epsilon. If uh, let's say uh, one from i from one n, sorry, uh, let's say uh, this is one from i from n and the uh, d x y less than delta okay so what what this this is just what this is just a uh, uniform continuous right because this is a convert uh, converge fun uh continuous function on a compact set right so basically and uh, what and i can choose uh, this delta the reason is that uh, i can choose for some fixed delta Right, because I only take a finite, finite, uh, finite amount of functions. Okay. Then, uh, then the rest is just trivial, right? Because for all for this function, I already bounded. I I can use delta to bound it, and then for the function which is larger than n, I can use this to bound it. Okay. So now, uh, if I want, I can compute f n of x minus f n of y for let's say n greater than n. Then it's less or equal to f n x minus f larger n x plus f larger n x minus f larger n y plus f larger n y minus small f n y. Okay, and the least and the least are bounded by the uniform convergence. Okay, and the least guy is bounded by the continuous part. Okay, so it's less than three epsilon. 
Okay, so let's uh, this is, and uh, this is for every function, right? So this is a uh, proof list lemma. Okay. Okay, now now uh, let's find out is hey, lemma three. Okay, so lemma three is uh, says that uh, this lemma three says that uh, uh, every uh, compact every compact uh, metric space K has a dense countable subset E, dense countable subset. Okay, this proof is, uh, this is very simple uh, topology. So let me just quickly outline the proof. So outline the proof is that for E, uh, K should be not empty. So you take uh, for every n greater uh, belongs to natural integer, Oh, sorry, natural number, and uh, you can define a uh, you can define a covering of k. Uh, yeah. So let's say you can you pick each each point with radius one over n, right? And uh, x belongs to k. And then you call this uh this is v n, right? So this v n is a v n is a open cover, right? It's open cover of k. So you can only you can always find a finite subcover, uh, which is a uh, trivial, right? Because K comp compact. Uh, so you can find a finite subcover. Uh, let's say this finite subcover is Fn, which is a subset of Fvn. Okay. So obviously uh, K is uh, covered by Fn. Okay. But not only that, uh, you can take let's say uh, for each n, right? I can I can I will have some Fn, right? So actually K is uh. Uh, open cover of uh, sorry cases it's covered by uh, all the in union of this effort okay and then this guy is compact oh sorry this guy is a count okay the reason is that each effort is finite right so finite this is guy is countable okay so now we 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 have this okay Uh, sorry, I, I want to prove that I want to prove that this is dense countable subset E. Right? So I can so what I mean what I take is that uh uh I I yeah so this uh okay I, I should say I, I should not say this f this inter this guy is countable I should say the number of is is countable okay so I, I so that means for each n let's say for each n let's say for n equals to one I will pick up this f one will contain some points, right? Let's say x one one, x one two, x one three, da 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 da. And and then for n equals to two, I get x two two, x s two one, s two two, s two two. Uh, sorry, s two three. And then for e n equals to three, I get x three one, x three two, x three three. And then all these and then these have radius one over three, one over two, one over one over one. And I keep going. And all these are are the count on the set e. So the E is composite uh, with all these, all these uh, origin. Yeah, this is the radius. Okay, so now uh, I just need to prove that this is dense, right? I claim the I claim E is dense. Okay, so this is trivial, right? Because for epsilon greater than zero, uh, whatever epsilon you have, I can I can find let's say greater some larger integer n such that epsilon is less uh less uh, sorry, such that epsilon is one greater than one over n. Right, so that's a one over n, so that I can find some points, let's say x something, and then this guy is arbitrary close to the original set k, right? So that's it. Okay, so uh, yeah, now we have three simple, uh, three er everything, okay? So let's write down, uh, so now I want to prove the Azela Asakoli, and I want to prove two versions, okay? So let's prove the first version. Okay, so the first version is the simple version. Okay, so this is the simple version. Simple version. Okay, so these simple version are uh come from the Wikipedia. Okay, so this is the 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 very 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 simple. Uh, this is the simple version. So we will not use all three day masks. We only use one of it or two of it. Okay, so this simple lemma says that uh, this theorem says that if I have a closed interval a b, and uh, right, and let's say uh, let's say you have some uh, I map to R and the uh, infinite, so you have infinite uh, functions f, right? So you have family of f, right, which you can maybe f n, right? And for each one is a uh, I from R, okay. 
And uh, and such that uh, such that uh, is first is uniformly bounded. So, uh, okay, and the second is that equally continuous. Uh, okay, then uh, there exists the converge uniformly converge subsequence. F okay. Okay, so this is the then this this is the simple version of uh, as I ask a Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, sorry. Converge uh, uniformly convergent subsequence on I. Also by uh yeah I so I is a close interval. Yeah. So this is simple version. So uh let me just let me just write down the the, the key idea. Okay. So key idea is that the use lemma one. So uh, use lemma one uh, to uh, to what to prove there exists the coverage f and k on dense countable subset E. So basically, the idea is that you find first find find a dense countable subset E of of A B right subset of A B, and by the lemma three, I know that this exists. Okay. So that means I, then I use lemma one to prove that. Uh, so I, I, I mean, I can just directly use lemma one to say that, oh, there is a coverage F and K on dense countable subset E of AB. Then uh, using equally continuous, equally continuous to connect other points. Okay, so this is the, the key step, the, the main idea. Okay, so now uh, let's give the proof. Okay, so yeah, very simple. So I can now I can take a countable subset, a countable dense subset of AB, right? And the easy, easy, easy idea is that I just choose E to be the rationals intersection of AB, right? Because all rationals are countable. Okay, and uh, so by lemma one, by lemma one, I have converged subsequence. Let's say this is F and K, okay? Okay, and uh, you can easily prove that this is uh, yeah, you have you have you have converge up to f f and k. Okay, so which converge at each point? Okay. Okay, so let's say uh for epsilon greater than zero. Uh, you can find the rational points, right? So there exists the uh, uh sorry, for epsilon greater than zero and any rational point. Let's say e is a rational contains with the rational points x k. And for any rational point xk in i, and uh, there exists an integer such that this n is that's it called this n is a uh, depend on epsilon and sk, uh, such that uh, fn xk minus f of m xk less than epsilon divided by three, which n and greater or equal to n, right? So this is basically the uniform, uh, sorry, this is the converge, right? So just, just, just. Yeah, so I, I relabel it by uh, F1, F2, F3, okay. So I relabel it by F1, S. So this is what we, well, I, I have now. Okay, so now uh, now this F is equally continuous, right? So this F is, a, for all the families equally continuous. Okay, so that means uh, for this fixed epsilon, right, for this guy, uh, there exists the open interval Right, so there is the open interval ux. There is the open interval ux contain x. Okay, contain x such that uh, such that uh, fs minus f of t less than epsilon divided by three. Right, and this is for all uh, st belongs to ux. Right, because this is equally continuous and for each f. Okay, so this f yeah. Okay. So now we have these two, right? So this is the converge subsequence. Conver converge uh, subsequence are only countable xk, and then this is equally continuous. Then I just combine, try to combine these two together. Okay. Uh, now, now it's very easy, right? Because uh, so k is k is uh, can be uh, k is covered by all these x, uh, all these ux, right? For each x, right? because I can, I mean, this is equally continuous, right? So I can. Uh, find a ux which is a uh, maybe ux has some radius right but however this case covered by this ux and if the force open cover right 
Oh, sorry, K is A. I should say I. Okay, so there is a finite subcover, right? So there is the finite subcover. So that means our I is covered by uh, our I is covered by some U J. Let's say uh, U J. Let's say J from one to J. Okay. And also uh, let U so uh, let U J right. So let U J uh, also yeah right. So the U J. And then this UJ, right? This UJ open car will contain some, uh, will contain, right? So it will contain some rational points. So let's say it contains rational points. Let's say it contains rational points XK. Let's say K is a small from larger KSK tilde. Okay. Okay. So now, uh, so this this sentence combine the all the previous results, all the previous two conditions. Okay, so now uh, for any PT belongs to I, there is this, there is this JK, right? So that, uh, uh, so that T and SK belongs to same interval UJ. Let me just write down, so that T and uh, SK, SK belongs to same interval UJ, to the same interval UJ. Okay, so this is simple. Uh, the reason is that uh, uh, the reason is that uh, now you pick any point t in i, right? So t will fall in some some uj, right? But for each uj which is dense, so it must contain some sk. Okay. Okay. So now your f n t minus f n t is bounded by f n t minus f n x k plus f n x k minus f m s k and uh, less than uh, or plus f m s k minus f m t okay so now this is bounded by uh equi continuous and this is bounded by equi continuous and this is bounded by a converge of x x k right so less than three epsilon there's less than epsilon right epsilon divided by three divided by three divided by three okay uh okay so you just pick, so that means uh, for all uh, n, m, greater or equal to n, and you just choose n to be max of uh, n epsilon x1, right? n epsilon x2, n epsilon xk. Right, this is uh, why, I, why I always say that uh, you can, for each xk belongs to i, right? But now you only have finite sk because you only have finite uj, okay? Or in original, you, because you only have finite, finite, u, uh, finite uj, so you can pick up final SK, okay? Right? Then, uh, then the, the, so that means what? That means that your Fn T is a uh, cosy. And then by previous theorem, I think I proved in uh, many uh, video, uh, very uh, maybe few videos ago, if you know that this f of n t is a cosy, then uh, basically you basically or basically some called uniform cosy, then you prove that f of n t converge. Uh, so you you uh okay, so you uniformly converge. Okay. Yeah. So this is the proof. Okay. So this uh this is the uh, one simple version. Okay, for a general version, it's uh, very simple. It's also similar. So let me just write down. So for a general version, it says why I just say that if K is compact, compact metric space. And the uh, second is that your F belongs to LK. Okay, for all N. And the third is that uh, FN is point-wisely bounded. Okay, so now it's a little bit different, uh, point-wise bounded. And uh, equally continuous, equally continuous. Then let's prove the two results. Okay, so A is a uh, F one is uniformly about. B says that F one contains a uh, contains a subsequence uniform converge. Very subsequence. 
Yeah, so this is the general version of the Azela Oscar code, general version. Okay, so uh, let's go to the proof. Uh, let's, uh, yeah, I think everyone remains why. So we, I need to use these four conditions to prove that uniformly bounded. And uh, this one is simple, okay? So let's say for epsilon greater than zero, uh, and then choose the choose delta greater than zero, right? So choose delta, and I know that was what we I I I know that this right, so I know that this less epsilon, right? For all, uh, if dxy less than delta, this is what this is the u equally continuous, right? By definition, I don't like case and the uh, case compact. So now it's a trick. Okay, so uh, I can I can pick delta as a radius, right? So your case is covered by all the all the ball which all the ball which x belongs to k with a radius delta. Okay, but this is a compact, right? So there is it's a finite point. Let's say p1, p2, up to pr. Okay. So each x belongs to k, will belongs to some ball, right? Some ball with pi. Okay. So what this means is that uh, what this means is that. Uh, so what this means is that your f n of x. Right, is bound due to this. Right, is bounded by this f n. On, uh, is bounded by a uh, function on this ball, right? So your fn, uh, let's say, x is bounded by. Uh, okay, so let so let me just uh, let me just write write this. So this, so since I my assumptions that uh, this is point wise bounded. Okay, so I I what I means that is is that uh, this, uh, this fn. Uh, sorry, f n p i is bounded by some m i, right? For each different p i, right? Because there is a function, right? But this p, so each p i has some function, has some number m i, right? But for each x, x is connected to some ball, and the the fun, uh, function value on f of x, f n of x is bound, is also connected to this, right? So provided you have this, then you can easily see that your f n of x. Now it's bounded by m i plus uh, let's say epsilon, right? Because your x belongs to this. Okay, so now you can choose, and you only have finite m i, right? So choose larger m to be max m one and two up to m r. So f of x for all for all n, right? It's bounded by m plus two epsilon. Right, which yeah, you pick any epsilon will give you some bound some bound results. Okay, so this proof that the uh, fn is uniformly bounded. <sighs> da, 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 da. Okay, so now uh, let's prove the second one, which is fn is contains a uniformly converged subsequence. Uh, which is a very similar to the previous proof. Okay, so by lemma three, there is this the countable dense subset E of K. Okay, so you have some dense subset, nice. And the by lemma one, uh, this dense subset, this, so there exists, uh, there is this a uniform, uh, sorry, a convergence subsequence. Uh, on E, right? So, yeah, so that's this is called FNK. And then for, uh, so for just for the con uh, notation convenience, I define uh, FNI to be GI, just for continue. So, this, so what it means is that uh, this GI uh, X converge for each, for each X, for every X belongs to E, right? This is what the uh, lemma one and three help us. Okay, so now the final is adding the equally continuous. The property of equally continuous is a magical. What what magical have? Uh, okay. 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 So let's say for epsilon is given. 
Uh, same thing, pick the delta gradient zero, and、uh, let's say a、uh, v of x delta, which is all the point belongs to k such that、uh, d x y less than delta. Okay, so which is just a ball with the radius delta, and the e stands in k, right? So e stands in k, and k is compact. So there is this the finite x one x two up to x m, such that the k is a、uh, covered by a v x one delta union v x two delta union v x three delta the the the, the union v x m delta. Okay, and、uh, we know that the things uh things I know that the g i right g i x converge for. For each x belongs to e. Okay, so there is this the n, right? Such that the g i x s minus g i x s. Sorry, g j. I'm stupid. G j less than epsilon, right? For each i j, greater or equal to n. Okay, so now、uh, I have two results, right? This is the convergence results、uh, by lemma one. This is the equally continuous results. So I combine everything together.、Uh, now let's say、uh, if x belongs to k, right? By definition, there is this s, right? Such that、uh, x belongs to v s, x s delta. Okay, so that、uh, so let what so let g i x. My G I S S right because this is a、uh, equally continuous less than epsilon right for every i. Okay, so finally, uh, you just you want to prove which is a uniform convergence, right? So you need to compute this G I X minus G J X right. right? Now X belongs to K. X need not belongs to E right. But I already connected E due due to E. Okay, so this is bounded by uh. G I X minus G I S S, so this is bounded. This is in in E, okay? Plus G I S S, G J S S, plus G J S S minus G J X. Okay, so this this is bounded by a uniform. Oh, sorry, convergence on E. Okay, and this is convergent from E, and then this is. Uh, sorry. Uh, sorry. This is convergent on E. Due to this, and the least two, these two are from a、uh, equally continuous, right? So this is、uh, equally continuous because for each i, right, equally continuous. So less than epsilon plus epsilon plus epsilon, which is three epsilon, and you just choose epsilon to be epsilon divided by three, and you get it done. Okay, yeah. So, uh, yeah. So this is the key idea. So key idea is that you first、uh, pick up some then subset. Accountable dense subset E, and you use the lemma one to say,、uh, lemma one and lemma three to get the dense subset to, to get some、uh, original. You get some、uh, a convergence subsequence, and finally you pick up the you try to count using an equally continuous to connect these two. So this is a proof of the other ask code, and、uh, yeah, it's a little bit messy. I'm sorry about this, and、I、hope you guys like this video. See you guys next videos. Hopefully, hopefully, subscribe to my channel. Bye bye.